Do you know what the most dangerous animal on Earth is? Shark? Crocodile? Snake? Nope, it's the pesky mosquito. The mosquito has killed nearly half of all humans ever born due to the deadly diseases they can transmit. There are more than 3,500 species of mosquitoes worldwide, with 40 of those living in the Townsville region. One of the most annoying of these is the salt marsh mosquito, or Aedes vigilax. This mosquito will fly vast distances in search of a blood meal, resting in cool, shaded, moist vegetation such as your gardens, bushland, parks or creek corridors. The mosquito is a highly aggressive biter at dawn and dusk and transmits Ross River virus and Barmer forest virus. Mosquitoes have been around for over 100 million years and are very difficult to control. These salt marsh wetland mosquitoes cannot be eradicated. However, programs are in place to help manage their numbers. To understand why mosquitoes can be so abundant, it helps to understand how these little creatures breed. Life for the salt marsh mosquito begins when the female mosquito lays her eggs in the upper tidal areas on grassy vegetation and mud, where salt water pools, during king tides and rain events. Amazingly, her eggs can remain dormant and resist drying out for many years. During king tide events, salt water floods mosquito breeding habitats over several days, with each flooding causing eggs to hatch in extreme numbers. To put it into perspective, a one hectare habitat can easily produce upwards of 50 million mosquitoes. So how does Townsville City Council manage these mosquitoes? The adult mosquito is not targeted in Council's control program. Why? Once adult mosquitoes are present in large numbers, they can become widespread and impact the community extremely fast, so it becomes near impossible to control. Instead, Council targets the mosquito larval stage where they are confined to and are more concentrated in their breeding habitat, making treatments much more effective and killing many more mosquitoes. Mosquito control officers check the salt marsh wetland mosquito breeding habitats during each tidal or rainfall event to assess mosquito hatchings and treatment requirements. These breeding habitats are located along the coastline and in some fairly inaccessible areas. Therefore, you will not see officers working around your homes or streets. They are in the salt marsh wetlands where the mosquitoes are breeding. To access these difficult sites, they use either a helicopter for large areas or quad bikes for smaller areas. Mosquito larvae will usually die 24 hours after a mosquito treatment. The mosquito treatment is targeted to mosquito larvae only, so other wildlife still live happily in these environments. So why are there so many mosquitoes at times? Townsville City Council has an average success rate of 90% on larvae control. This means up to 5 million mosquitoes may still survive. As there is over 1,000 hectares of mosquito breeding habitat in Townsville, that is a lot of adult mosquitoes that can fly away and cause a nuisance. Just imagine what it would be like if there was no mosquito treatments. So next time you experience mosquitoes, or hopefully not, remember there is a lot of work happening out in the salt marsh wetlands to minimise mosquitoes numbers. Nobody likes being bitten by mosquitoes, so when you are enjoying the great outdoors, remember to cover up, burn a mosquito coil and apply mosquito repellent regularly. These mosquitoes can transmit Ross River virus and Barmer forest virus, so don't be their next meal.